Hello, everybody out there in the YouTube universe. My name is Jason. I'm Brandon. And I'm Jace. And you're watching Milltown Productions. These things are all true. Yeah. Yeah. What are we watching? We are Jace. watching Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> yeah. Sadly. Episode three. Oh, free. Free. Free ninety nine. The like streets free. of Mos Espa. Oh, you know where Mos Espa is? Yes, yeah, it's in a galaxy far, far away. That's, that's where Boba be staying right now. I know. <laughs> where Bib <laughs> Fortuna to live. I was hoping you would On say. Tatooine. I was hoping you'd say no, because then I'd be like, it's it's in Mos Espa. <laughs> Mos Espa's in a Mos Espa. Yeah. Mos Espa. <laughs> yeah. He said, you know where Mos Espa is? No. Yeah. That's because it's in Mos Espa. <laughs> well, I mean, that's true, but, you know. If you don't know where it is, you can find out after you like this video. <laughs> comment down below that you love us. Hit the subscribe button. But more importantly, that notification bell. But most importantly, there's a description. Yeah. And it's got something in it. Yeah. And I can't I can't remember for the life of me what it is. Jay, uh, Jason, yeah. what's in there? What's in the description? Oh, oh you said Jason? No, Jace. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> a Patreon link. Yeah, what do you get at that link? Well, you get to that, that link. You get you get the full link reactions and then then early, really, really early, 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 and then you you get you get to tell us what movies to watch after some seasons and stuff. So you tell us, you know, you tell us to watch Pretty Little Liars, and we watch Pretty Little Liars. You know, you some stuff like that. Well, no, because we're watching movies. I, and that's not a movie. Oh, I don't. I'm, I I I don't know why. That's the thing I thought of. Oh well, <laughs> if they make a movie called Pretty Little Liars, we'll watch that. Yeah. <laughs> don't let your dreams be dreams. Yeah. I've tried a million times, Shia. You see the businesses that were under the protection of the name that should not be spoken. You can say Voldemort. Under the protection of Jabba the Hutt. Oh. Under Master Bibbs' watchful eye. Mos Espa was eye. divided amongst three families. The Trandoshans took the city center, the Aquilish, the workers' district here, and the Clatoonians, the Starport, and Upper Sprawl. So now we're getting like Game of Thrones type shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> All of this while lining the pockets of Mayor Mock Shays. Mm. Where does that leave us now? Everyone is waiting to see what kind of leader you are. One of your vassals seeks an audience with you. Do they have an appointment? No, Mr. Shand. That's fine. Cinnamon. What is your petition to Lord Fred? Well, with apologies, sir. No one respects you. <laughs> Enough! Let him speak. And I am insulted on your behalf at the disrespect these urchins are showing you, especially huh. in light of the, uh, well, you know, a street gang of insolent youths has been stealing my inventory. Now, this never happened under the other daimyos, <laughs> and I am insulted on your behalf. They are half man, half machine. Cyborgs. They modify their bodies with droid parts to uh, make themselves cybernetics. even more deadly. I we stole it. That's a crime. It's a crime what he charges. Then farm your own water. Go back to your palace. Watch your tongue. I'm the daimyo of this district, and I will bring order. You live in the workers' district. You all should be working. <clears throat> there is no work, mighty daimyo. Look around you. One guy's got his arm behind his back. Then you will work for me. You better fight as good as you talk, Dank. <laughs> no, 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 no! They stole from me! What do they owe you? 1,300 credits. <clears throat> for water. 1,300 credits? Give them 500. Yeah. <laughs> Take the 500 and consider it resolved. <laughs> if you want to continue to do business in my territory. Yeah, he knew better not to talk dank to him. <laughs> because we're coming like a thief in the night. I swear, homie Key, you're a nightly. God, I swear to God. Okay. I was gonna be I mean, fucked. Oh, it threw us back. To, no, but I mean, it's at least going to like episode two, right? Type shit. Like this is okay. Flashback. Like whatever. I swear. 
Oh. Yep, motherfucker. Oh, Jesus. Protection arrangements are all part of doing business in the Outer Rim. I've spoken with my superiors on Obadiah, and they are unwilling to pay protection to more than one party. We are one party. The Kintan Striders have already collected protection money for the same territory you lay claim to. You don't have to pay that speed of my gang. We far outnumber them. We are happy to do business with either party, but we do not want to be taken advantage of by paying protection to both. I'm sure you understand. Oh. But you don't have to worry about the Tuscans anymore. Shit. But what about his wife? Where's the wife? Whoopi. I swear. Oh, Is that man. Yeah. Well, now I'm upset. Yeah. And they tagged. The fucking Assassin Creed. Oh, uh, they remembered because of him going to the club and beating everyone's ass. Okay. I might not have to be pissed. Oh, you don't have to because they're there. Whoa! There's the Wookiee. I knew it. Oh. And he... Oh. Wow. Oh, it's the girl. Oh, and all of them. Uh. Oh. Ow. What? <laughs> that triggered him more than anything? Yeah, apparently he hates Gamorreans. <laughs> I mean, he is a badass. Oh! Yo! Oh! Oh shit! Stomp on the hand. Launches himself back up. You went and got your robe on? Right. Yeah. While the rest of the fight was happening? Get him to my back to tank. That's too much food, man. Mm -hmm. I need to respond. Everyone is watching, waiting for me to make the next move. These are huts. Waiting will only give them another opportunity to strike again. The twins are here. Oh. They have brought a gift. They are here. A rancor? Yeah, it is? Yeah. How'd you recognize that already? Danny Trejo? Whoa! <laughs> what is Danny Trejo doing here? Yeah. Where is his machete? Promised by who? Oh. Nigula da Poo. Here is your prisoner. I offer him back if you renounce all claims to Jabba's legacy on Tatooine. This one is a calf. Mm. It was bred from champions for fighting. I saved this one for myself to train. It imprints on the first human it sees. Mm. I thought they were bred just to fight. They're powerful fighters, so that is what most know. But they form strong bonds with their owner. Here in one of these. I want to learn to ride this one. Hmm. You what? I want <laughs> to ride it. I've ridden beasts ten times its size. No longer need a litter. Teach me. Imagine you just stroll into Today. the streets of Moss Espa on a fucking <clears throat> raincore. Mm -hmm. Oh, people would start respecting him then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're here to see the mayor. We have a few questions for him. So if you'll excuse me, I'll see what I'm able to Yeah. <laughs> And then he locks it. Oh, yeah. Did he just lock the door? Oh, the mayor's not there. They're gone. Mayor's gone. Oh, no, no, that doesn't gone. seem sketchy. In his, in his Cadillac. Bro. Yo. 
Yo, that was cool. Oh. Yep. All that food. Now on the floor. Hmm. Wow, convenient timing. Yeah, right. For Boba. He was just flying around watching him the whole time. He's with the pikes. Yeah. Mayor's gone. He, he's working with the pikes. So a dozen at least. They arrived on the Starliner. These are just the first wave. <clears throat> They're going to war. Then we will be ready. Is that actually the end? Okay. Then we will be ready. Let me tell you something. Right fucking now. This is exactly the kind of fucking episodes I need out of this show. Because that right there didn't feel like it took 40 minutes. That shit felt like a 20-minute episode because it was fun. Yeah. I didn't have to watch him find a stick after going on a trippy, weird, psychedelic... Yeah, ayahuasca... After a weird-ass lizard crawled up his sinuses. Like, what the fuck? See, I thought you were about to be mean with the show. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> no, I'm happy about this episode. Even though yeah. I, the CGI at times definitely looked a little shoddy. Yeah. But... It, it was still, it was still fine. ten times more fun than yeah. watching this man reflect on being stuck in a, a giant toothy coochie in the sand. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Like, I was going to be so mad when it did the little flashback thing. I was like, I swear to God, if I watch this man trudge through the sand for the next 30 minutes, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> like, Yeah, so I knew that was coming. Um, so, like, when you're like, <laughs> but I also knew... That was coming. Yeah. So like when you're like, and you're like, I better not have to see that much more of the Tuscan Raiders. I'm yeah. Like, well. Yeah, you're giggling oh, right man. over there. I was like, motherfucker. But I didn't want him to die. Him to, yeah. yeah. I didn't want him to fuck. We lost Boba's what, wife. What doesn't? <laughs> what doesn't make any sense to me? And he goes, he goes, we vastly outnumber them. Yeah. They didn't seem that many <laughs> that were there that were like. I know. He didn't burn a huge pile of bodies. He had three or four people there. I know. It looked like they had like maybe 20 tops. Oh, yeah. Total throughout the entire campment. No fucking wonder Danny Trejo was in this. It was directed by Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, Holy shit. <laughs> this this was fun. Yeah. The ending yeah. was great too. With like, we, we saw some fun action here in Mos Espa. And yeah. then we get the cliffhanger of, we're going to war. That's fucking fun and exciting. And, yeah, yeah they have a rancor. Yes. And, they're and that, going to war. <laughs> Dude, like this... The... And we don't get Bill Burr, but we get Danny Trejo. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I really hope he stays in this shit for well, a little bit longer. If he's got to train the rancor before they go to war, then, yeah, he's going to be in it. Unless the very next episode, they're like, well, luckily, during this time in between the two episodes, we've trained it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, what... what is there any other type of like um, uh, species in this universe or whatever that you guys would want to fuck on <laughs> on their team? Because yes, the I Gamorreans. mean, I did want to see. Um, I'm gonna call him Christian from now on because that was funny. But the, uh, the what Christian or whatever his name was, or yeah, uh, yeah. like I would, I wanted to see him be on their team eventually. Yeah, like, me too. Because that would be. Badass. Does look like it would almost badass. be an unsullied moment where she just sets them free and they're like, you know what? Actually, okay, I want to fight yeah. for you by choice. But yeah. no, he said. <laughs> <laughs> the way he ran, dude. Yeah. He ran like Tom Brady. Oh. He, he was literally like, you're letting me go, right? I still like, got 20 like, yards out of it. Like, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but, um,. Uh, but yeah, that'd be cool because like he he looks a lot more of like a badass than what like a uh, uh, Chewie. Chewie. Yeah, yeah, I still like, miss Chewie. Yeah. But, oh yeah, but yeah, he looks like a fucking badass. He looks like he oh god, he'd rip you in half. Oh, oh yeah, um, <clears throat> and then I don't know. I mean, any I mean, <laughs> let's go get let's go find Yodor, <laughs> get yeah. him on the team <laughs> for real. That would be fun. That would be really fun if he could actually like if he could. Managed to get to an adolescent stage, like where he's not literally just a baby right. looking type deal. That would actually be kind of cool to see. That would take a long time though. Yeah, because it's already he's fifty years. Fifty years old right now. I'm yeah, but maybe well, if he keeps eating frog eggs. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they messed up with the aging on Yodor. 
Yeah. We're talking about Grogu, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, Grogu. Yeah. Um, because, like, I mean, Both that means it. literally, like, in the show The Mandalorian, in order for Yodor to get, like, a decent age where we can actually have fun with that character, like, the Ma- uh, Mando would have to die. Because it'd be another, like, a hundred years. Unless, like, he unless... starts harvesting people's souls. <laughs> like Shanks. <laughs> <laughs> or like Palpatine. Like know? if you, yeah. I mean, unless he dove into cybernetics, yeah, he could probably extend his life through cybernetics a little bit. Be well, he could. Ex- well, he doesn't have the force. I was about <laughs> to say you could extend your life through the force. But Grogu has the force and might be if he can if he can force heal, he like can force de age. Well, bro. I mean, no, think about it. Like, well, imagine if, like, how deep could force heal go? Like. Could you cure someone with like a terminal disease, right? With force heal, like is that a possibility? Could he cure his old age? I mean, literally, it... like make his body function perfectly, like it's at its peak. That'd be insane. Performance. Then That'd how long really would cool. he live? Yeah. Then, then Jedi's would never. Yeah, they'd be around die. forever. So, so uh, in combat. Well, besides combat. Yeah. But I mean, like Yoda, like Yoda died by literally just like giving into the Force, basically, and like letting him. S- well, so technically, they you could do would. That. You'd have a, you had an opt out option. You ha- you just have. The, <laughs> I no longer consent. Can I steal one of these? Yeah. The, you have the the Jedi who let themselves become one with the Force, and so that would be. Ba- it's kind of like how Asari are in Mass Effect because yep. they live over a thousand years. They become matriarchs whenever they're older. And then that's kind of like their settled down stage. So Jedi could do the same thing where after a thousand years, they're like, honestly, I'm just tired of being here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah. It was a good episode, man. I can't wait to see the next one. I mean, I really enjoyed it. I am excited to see the next one. Yeah. I hope that the rest of the series is like this because yeah. this episode was really good. It was good. a good episode. Guys, we were stalling all day. Leading up to this, that we didn't want to watch because I didn't want another Boba. fucking flashback. Like, well, I mean, the thing is, if we'd have watched his actual journey from the Sarlacc pit to them, yeah, then to like, it would have felt more like natural progression, yeah, because it Linear. makes sense that he needed to survive in the desert like this, yeah. But whenever you skip over that initially, then you know he survived in the desert, yeah, like. Okay, cool. So then if you want to show me flashbacks, give me small ones of how he did some of this shit. And you can even sprinkle it out throughout the season where it's like, oh, I wonder exactly how he made the stick. Maybe you find out a few episodes in and it's like, oh, that's how he did it. Instead of just cramming all of it into one yes. thing or two episodes. It felt way too and- rushed, the the cool stuff like that. And don't get me wrong. like It made me, obviously I cared about the, the one um, Tuscan, Tuscan Raider. Raider that died, but like, I feel like we would have cared more about their deaths. So, yeah. Well, Fuck look, you, Disney. <laughs> as long as the rest of the season is like this, I'll be good. And, yeah. I'll, and I'll be willing to 100% forgive the first two episodes. Me too. Like, what, what was this one? Four? Three. Oh, this was three? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean... So, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we're past the, the speed bumps, f- like, pretty early on. And now we're just smooth sailing towards an exciting... Rest of the season, so yeah, like uh, like season two of Mando was, yeah, smooth sailing. Smooth well, sailing. I'm ready to move on. I am too. Yes, Once you guys like this video, comment down your uh down your below. Comment down your thoughts. Whoa. Comment down below your thoughts. Comment uh, down below you thoughts <laughs> on the episode and the reaction, uh, and then hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. So that way you can get notified each and every time that we upload a new video. Yes. There's a link in the description. Take you to our Patreon. You click on that link. You become a patron. Boom. Right? Right? Yeah? You get full-length reactions, early access to those reactions. Get exclusive voting rights in our polls to choose the movies that we watch at the end of each season of our big shows. This is true. To join our Discord, hang out with us, have community game nights, uh, movies and shows, watch-alongs. Um, and yeah, and then you just get to hang out with us more. We're building a community over there. Hell yeah. Check it out. Come and hang out with us. Yeah, we love you. We'd appreciate it. Very cool. deeply. Hang out. Yeah, I'm thirsty. You're thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> drink. I'm always thirsty. I don't know sign language. That's my secret. I'm always thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking choked on that shit. I... I 
remembered not to laugh long enough for me to swallow and then laugh. So <laughs> you almost made me choke. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. See y'all later. Time. We love you. Paul.